Welcome back, I'm Cosmo. This is another crash course video and it will be covering how to rendezvous and dock in KSP2. Here are the timestamps if you'd like to skip ahead. Without further ado, let's crash into things. Rendezvous are essential for a successful space program in KSP2. You can play an entire game however you want. I feel like a lot of people avoid rendezvous and docking because they view it as hard. It is the hardest skill to learn in the game. Once you learn how to do it, you have so many options available to you on how to complete a mission. So what is a rendezvous and how do you do it? First, let's talk conceptually about what a rendezvous is. A rendezvous is a set of orbital maneuvers during which two spacecraft arrive at the same point in space and time in an orbit to allow both crafts to remain at a constant distance from each other. Now, let's talk about how to do a rendezvous. Here are the steps. 1. Select a target. 2. Inclination correction. 3. Rendezvous encounter. 4. Match relative velocities. 5. Go for approach. 6. Final approach. First, select a target. In order to have a target, you'll need to go to map view, right click on the target vessel, and select set as target. This will allow you to fine tune your maneuver nodes to create an encounter. An SAS control, once you've selected a target, you will see the circle with a dot and the circle with three lines through it light up. They are target and anti-target. This will direct your spacecraft to go directly at the target or away from the target. By your nav ball, you have your velocity meter. You can change it from orbit to surface normally. When you add a target, you get an additional option, target. Switch the velocity from orbit until it says target. This velocity now shows your relative velocity to your target. When it is 0.0, .0 meters per second, you're going the same velocity as the target. When it's negative, the target is traveling faster than you. And when it's positive, you're traveling faster than your target. Second, inclination correction. Before you launch, have an idea of what inclination your target vessel is at. Ideally, your target vessel is at or near zero degree inclination. Launching from the KSC, this will be the most efficient way to rendezvous. Otherwise, you'll have to use more delta V to adjust your inclination to match the target inclination. What I mean by zero degree inclination is you have an equatorial orbit that goes directly above the KSC. Now, I may be 100% wrong that that's a zero degree inclination. It might be six and a half degrees or something. But ideally, you want your orbit to go directly over the KSC so that when you launch and you're going east, you line up and you don't have to make a large inclination adjustment. Now, assuming that you've got yourself into a low carbon orbit above 70,000 kilometers, the first maneuver node you want to set up is at the ascending or descending node. Whichever comes first is the one you want to adjust. Here, you'll create a maneuver node and bring it anti-radial or radial. That's the purple triangles. The goal is to get the ascending node or descending node, A in, D in, to under one degrees. Ideally, you want the degrees to be zero degrees. This number represents the inclination of your orbit relative to the target orbit. Zero degrees means that your inclination is matched with your target's inclination. Note, inclination is adjusted by radial, or anti-radial. That's the purple triangles. There are six axes in which you can direct your spacecraft. They're paired together in threes, or in three. You have anti-radial and radial, that's the purple. You have the light blue, which is anti-normal and normal, that's up and down, and retrograde and prograde, and that's forward, backwards, and that's the green. Rendezvous and counter. You will see two pairs of numbers when you have a target selected, you'll see 1A and 1B and 2A and 2B. The pairs of 1 go to together and the pairs of 2 go together. How you rendezvous is by getting 1A and 1B to be at the same point in space and time in the orbit. How to get that encounter is by changing the maneuver nodes and executing burns to get your encounter. Since you've corrected your inclination, you shouldn't have to adjust radially or anti-radially. You should only have to adjust normal, anti-normal, and prograde retrograde. Ideally, you want to make your maneuver node at periapsis. The reason for this is your velocity is faster at periapsis than apoapsis. You'll use less delta V if you maneuver at 
periapsis than you would if you maneuver at apoapsis. The first maneuver I go with is doing a retrograde burn with my maneuver encounter. So I'll pull back on retrograde to see if that will get my distance closer. As long as my distance is getting closer, that's good. The goal is to get within 500 meters of the target. You'll have to continue to adjust your maneuver node using retrograde, prograde, normal, anti-normal, radial, and anti-radial to get the distance within 500 meters or less. The reason you want to be within 500 meters is you can visually see the target pretty well. Also try to do this on the sun side of Kerbin, not the dark side of Kerbin. It gets really difficult to see crafts on the dark side if you haven't put lights on them. Focus on getting that distance closer. And you can see the distance by right clicking on your target, the 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B. If you right click on it, it will show you the distance and it'll stay up there for you so you can see it. You wanna get that distance again to within 500 meters. Now, don't worry about matching your velocity. You'll match your velocity last. That's the last part of a rendezvous is matching the velocity. The type of orbital engine that you're using matters. If you're using an engine that has low thrust, you'll need more time to match your velocity. If you have a high thrust engine, you'll have less time. As you get better with doing rendezvous, you'll be able to do this in one step. Now, really two, you'll end up doing two burns, an inclination burn and then your encounter burn where you kill off your velocity and distance and line up pretty close to your target. That's the goal. But for now, don't worry about how many burns you have to do. If you're trying to figure out which way you need to burn to slow yourself down and close a distance, make a maneuver node and adjust it. You may want to use a maneuver node or not, but at least it will tell you, hey, you need to go radial or anti-radial or normal, prograde, whatever. It'll tell you the direction you need to go to get closer and slow your velocity down. You might not have the time to make the burn, but at least you know generally where you need to go in order to get closer until you get visual of the target. Once you have visual of the target and you can see the distance, now you know, hey, let's wait it out. You have about a minute or so until you get there. Watch till you see how close it is. Maybe make a burn to get distance closer, whatever you have to do in map view once you have visual. Again, you'll approach it. Four, match relative velocities. By now, you have an encounter node set up and you're within 500 meters of the target. You may already have visual of the target. This is the more difficult part and what you want to achieve. If you can get to this point where you have visual of your target, things are a lot easier. Do your best to do it on the sun side of Kerbin, not the dark side, as it will be far easier to see what you're doing if you didn't put lights on your crafts. Now, once you get to this point, you point the opposite direction that the target is going and slam on the brakes. If you point retrograde, this usually works the best to just burn retrograde. It will slow you down. You want to get your target velocity to about 5 to 10 meters per second, depending on your distance. The reason I went to 0 meters per second is because of how close I was to the target. I knew that if I could just stop all my movement, I could then just make small adjustments to go a direction I wanted to go, which obviously... That's what velocity is. It's a speed with a direction. The biggest point is to get your velocity matched so that you're traveling at nearly the same speed as the target craft and you're slowly approaching and closing the distance. This is where you'll do number five and you'll go for approach. Here's where patience is key. If you're traveling around five meters per second, You'll be going fast enough to close the distance, but not fast enough to fly by your target. You'll want to use RCS here. Shut your engine off so you don't actually accidentally hit Z and be careful not to hit spacebar and stage accidentally. Save, save, save. Throughout this whole process, you should be using F5 and doing a, a quick save so that if you get in an event where you mess up, you fix it. Here, I'm getting rid of debris because it slows my game down. So anything that I hit space part and stage from i just delete it because it's far easier to get rid of the debris to have better performance than having a bunch of stuff floating around eating up a bunch of resources on my computer now to control rcs 
you'll hit R, that will turn on RCS, and H goes forward, N goes backward, J turns left, K points the craft down, so the back of the craft points down, I points the nose forward, or down, and L turns the craft right. This is also relative to the direction that you're looking. So ideally what you want to do is have the nav ball where, the, where you're pointed at horizon, or basically imagine the circle, target circle, be the horizon. So you're pointed locked on to it with SAS, and the blue is above and the orange is below. So that you know that you can hit K and I and they'll interact correctly. Otherwise, pay attention to where the thrust is going and what it's doing to your nav ball and direction that your prograde is moving. Because at this point, all you're doing is you're moving your prograde vector onto the target. This is why it's so important to get rid of your horizontal velocity so that you control the direction that you're traveling in. SAS can be a pain, so you may need to turn it on or off. Depends on what you do. If you hit the delete key, you will basically turn your flight controls from normal mode to docking mode. Docking mode is incredible. Now, before you do docking mode, you need to select the docking port that you're going to dock with. Right now, when you have a vessel that's your target, you're targeting the center of that vessel. I don't know if it's center of gravity, center of mass, I don't know, but you're targeting the center of that craft. You're not actually targeting a docking port. So when you get close enough, you need to highlight a docking port that you want to dock to, right click and set that as target. Then that becomes the target that you're actually traveling to and you're not gonna be off and making adjustments and being frustrated as to why you're not docking correctly. Now with final approach, if the docking port that you want is on the opposite side, make it a bit easier for yourself. Pause, go to the KSC, select the craft that you are trying to dock with. When you get that craft, take control of it, hop in, game's paused, right? So nothing's gonna go crazy. Right click on the docking port to control the, the one that you wanna dock to, control from there. Then go up to map view, select the craft that you wanna target, target it, SAS, hit target, and then that craft that, that you're targeting, to, like that you're now controlling, will then point to the craft that you're trying to dock with. And what this does is now you don't have to move the craft that you're flying and fly it around to the other side. You're just getting that station to just turn around and point at you. Now hit unpause for about a second or so, and then hit pause again, put SAS control from target to stabilize if you want, then go back to the KSC, pick your docking vessel that you originally were in and go for your final approach. Now, you should have the craft that you're in moving around to you and your docking port that you want should be coming up. If you didn't select the docking port correctly, now it's your chance to select that docking port. Unpause and go for final approach. Now for final approach, you simply have to hit the delete key. Delete changes your flight mode from normal to docking mode. Docking mode basically guides you to the docking port with zero interaction from you. Now, it may not correct everything. So if you're going 15 meters per second, it's not going to correct that. But if you've done everything else and you've done all the work to get to this point, if you hit delete, it will guide you to the docking port with ease. But you can't be going at a ridiculous velocity to do that. Here I'm going under one meters per second. And this is because when you're going to dock, do it slowly. If you're going too fast, you will damage the docking ports, and if you're going really fast, you will destroy your entire space station, which I have done multiple times. Uh, it's happened quite a bit because I accidentally hit, hit Z and go flying forward, and it's been a whole debacle on some things. But I hope this video has helped a lot. Rendezvous and docking are really fun in this game. It opens up the doors for what you can create. It's also going to be essential in making interstellar crafts. Practice this until you can do it regularly and enjoy building cool space stations. The best way to practice uh, is to dock in space, which sounds really dumb, but 
launch a, a, a craft that has, you know, a command module with something that it can dock to, like an Apollo style mission, launch it up, do what they did in Apollo and Gemini, launch it up into orbit and then undock and redock and just practice docking. Maybe grab, you know, a docking port that has six sides and add the little things with the six sides like that and dock to it and undock to it. Practice it. Don't forget about your, your electric charge and monopellant. If this video helped you, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and turning notifications on. I'll see you all soon. I'm Cosmo. I'm out.